I'd like to say a very big hello to everybody who's greeted me so far, especially those who said, hi, Bev. <laughs> Bev sends her greetings from Amsterdam. I'm Kate. <laughs> hi, Glasgow. Um, the problem is, Bev and I have been um, working side by side for two years this month to get LGB Alliance up and running. Um, and uh, we practically finish each other's sentence. So you can call me what you like, as long as you do what all the other speakers have said so far, which is to speak up. Um, first of all, I just want to name a couple of names. I want to thank anybody in uh, For Women Scotland or around that area called Marion. Uh, <laughs> None of us can believe what's happened to Marion Miller, but having said that, each day I go to bed and I think, what is going to happen tomorrow? And it does. And still we haven't tipped the balance. And if we don't tip the balance, we are in serious trouble, believe me. I want to thank um, Marion Calder, who has welcomed us. Um, into the breast of Four Women Scotland. Um, LGB Alliance, I, I can say quite fairly, is completely dominated by Scots. Uh, Rona Hotchkiss sends her regards. Far too busy doing something terribly important in God knows where. And Malcolm Clark has the, t what is the word when you're, a temerity. He has the temerity to be earning his living today. However, they wouldn't forgive me if, they, if I didn't say that they would have loved to be here and we are with you. I also have a personal message um, from LGB Alliance to um, a woman called J.K. Rowling. We now have 15 groups around the world who have sprouted up like mushrooms from Spain to Mexico to Australia to Iceland, LGB Alliance, all of them. And so many of them, when we ask them what happened, they just simply say, J.K. Rowling. She is one of the bravest women I have ever come across. Sadly, I haven't met her yet, but if I had, I would fall to my knees. She has personally affected more change probably and rather sad to say than all of us put together and all the women's groups so god bless you jk rowling um and uh the reason that lgb alliance is almost i would say she is our figurehead is because she said this sentence uh, you may know that we're a, an organization that promotes the rights of same-sex attracted people i.e. L-G-B. Um, she, she has said very clearly, without sex, there is no same-sex attraction. Thank you, J.K. Rowling. And, and we will fight for that for as long as we live. Another person I want to mention by name is Joanna Cherry. Now, you look at Joanna Cherry and you look at J.K. Rowling, these are two women who will go down in history as some of the bravest, brightest, most brilliant women we have seen in the 20th and 21st centuries. They are being threatened with rape, murder, every day of the week. Can you tell me how many MPs or blue ticks on Twitter have condemned this behavior? And yet we see people falling over themselves to quite rightly condemn the hideous racism against our poor penalty takers. I don't see why they can't speak up. Could it possibly be because they're women? So we say to JK Rowling and we say to Joanna Cherry and every single woman who puts herself out there, we're with you, we support you, we will always stand by you. Um, just very briefly, um, we know we cannot be silenced. Um, in our particular case at LGB Alliance, 
we launched with a famous tweet from Alison Bailey on the 22nd of October 2019. We weren't ready to be launched, we didn't have a name, but suddenly we were a thing. And from the 23rd of October 2019 until today, uh, our critics have done everything they can in a war of attrition to destroy us. That war is continuing. Um, mermaids have lodged an appeal to have our charitable status removed. We got our charitable status in April 2021 after an extremely difficult and detailed process with the Charity Commission. And now mermaids, with the support of Jolie and Mom and four or five, four or five other LGBTQIA plus charities, they want to have us struck off the charity register. So that case will be coming up between the end of August and September the 17th. We welcome your support on Twitter or wherever you can to say, excuse me, just what is going on here? Um, and finally, uh, we, LGB Alliance, have our first huge, all-dazzling, all-star conference in London, sorry, <laughs> on the 21st of October, 2021. We still have early bird tickets available. Sign up now. Uh, we haven't announced the speakers or the venue, which is why it's so surprising that we've sold so many tickets. <laughs> but it is going to be a cracker. I encourage you to come, and the uh, motto of our conference applies to this organization, our organization, and every organization, an individual who is standing up for biological reality, same-sex attraction, and the protection of children from medicalization. Our, our simple motto is, here to stay.